Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to today's workout. We're doing a booty workout, so grab your resistance band and a raised platform. You can use a chair or a bench like I'm using. Or the second step of your staircase, I guess, might be a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, let me know how that goes. And we're going to start with the first movement, the seated abductor press. Getting straight into it today with 45 seconds on the clock. Ready? and go. So for this one, you want to kind of just chill and find where you're comfortable. Um, so sitting up with good posture, uh, feet together, and then we're just going to press the thighs out, pushing against the band. Hold it for a second before you release back in slowly. Now you don't want your legs to be like, you know, thwanging back together. No, we're controlling it. We're resisting the movement back together as well, if that makes sense. So you're not just like pushing out and then, oh, let it go and your knees are knocking back together. No, controlling. You're doing really well. It's a bit of a tough movement to be honest. I find it quite difficult um, because you've really got to be controlling that movement um, but it's really effective and you'll definitely feel it so keep going and relax. Well done, smashed it. Then we're going to do some hip thrusts. Such an effective uh, movement for building up the glutes. Um, I actually did this workout yesterday. I'm recording the voiceover today and my glutes still hurt, so go. Uh, so, feet round about hip width apart, turned out slightly, pushing against the resistance band, so not letting your thighs uh, fall in or your knees fall in. Uh, the bench or whatever, you should feel it about around about the, uh, around the shoulder blade, so just below the shoulder blades looking straight ahead of you so you're not looking up at the ceiling you're looking straight to over towards your knees then you're going to squeeze the glutes and lift the hips up squeezing at the top weight through the heels keeping good form as you do this you want about a 90 degree angle at the knees when you are at the top of the movement okay so position your feet whether moving them closer or further away so that that happens and relax well done 15 seconds rest and then we're going back in with that movement doing the pulse so we're going to stay up high making sure you set up well again so remembering how to set up ready and go and you can always adjust by the way if you set up and you're like oh now this ain't this ain't it that's fine just readjust it's better to like get yourself in the right position with the right form rather than being like oh no she started so i'm just going to carry on with one leg in the air nah nah take your time reset because the way that you do movement makes a huge difference so we're turning the feet slightly out pressing out with the knees against the band squeezing the glutes up intentional mind to muscle connection keeping them nice and high the core is engaged as well looking straight ahead staying up nice and high you're doing so so well i know it's intense i know it burns and relax, well done, awesome job. Then we're gonna ditch the bench and we're gonna do some squat walks. So we're squatting um, and then we're doing a lateral walk. So side to side. It doesn't really matter how many steps you do each side. Uh, I was just trying to stay in view. Ready and go. In fact, it kind of does matter because it'll change how many reps you get in. So go for three steps each way. <laughs> and then we're doing a nice, good, good form squat to stand. So we're really feeling really feeling the glutes here and I want you to again get that mind to muscle connection so to come up it's not passive you're squeezing the glutes as you bring the hips through weight through the heels chest up keeping good squat form you're doing so so well try and stay nice and low with the squat walk I know it's tough and you want to just like walk <laughs> but try and stay nice and low because that is what's going to really get you the results that you're looking for Awesome job, well done, you smashed it. Then the last movement in this super effective workout are some Romanian deadlifts. So we're keeping the resistance band on, uh, feet about hip width apart, feet slightly turned out, ready and go. So the way I want you to do this is to move the hips back. So I'm not lowering my upper body, I'm actually moving my hips back behind me and that's what brings, that hinge at the hips is what brings the upper body down. So my hips go back until I feel a stretch in my glutes and my hamstrings and then I squeeze the glutes and hamstrings as much as I can to come back up. My core is super engaged here, okay? So I'm not letting that uh, pelvis tip too far forward 
forward. I'm keeping my core engaged so I've got good form and I can really activate the muscles. Uh, so hips go back, squeeze to come up, intentional connection, not letting the knees fall in. You're doing so well. Really good rep and you're done absolutely smashed it shake it off you can do some stretches you will be feeling this uh feel free to repeat it as many times as you want i will see you very soon love you so much bye